pleasant day to all of us. We are here at the house of my friend, Ricky Humawan. He's been my friend for the longest time. Since I started my pet store, Ricky has been there for me always and this man has been our partner in business and he just called me up because of some you know personal problems and we were able to talk about personal matters and we are here and we are so blessed that he offered to us his Platinum Half Moon Beta and he is also an expert in breeding all these uh, beta fishes for the last 16 years so guys we are privileged that many people have already empathized with us empathize with our cause with our mission to other people the needy people people who have less in life less fortunate and uh, ricky has been watching our videos and he wanted to help and actually we are here to receive his gift to us for dexter's world he wanted to upgrade our breeding it's been uh, watching our videos and he said you can upgrade and i can share to you my materials so that you can upgrade your breeding of betas you know i only have some good quality of betas and he's here to provide us with materials so, and i'm glad so kumusta bye okay lang, bye. okay lang okay lang so allow us to just speak in our in our dialect we have visayan dialect or we can also speak another like tausu gochabacano yes. we can do that Kumusta man? Uh, nakita ni mong video? Oo. Oh, uh -oh. Pasalamat ko nga, kinanak di ay yung mong naon sa karon, taas na yung mong naabot nga makatapang ka sa mga sikay ko na to. Uh, helping ka tong naglisod sa kinabuhi. This is a free offer. <coughs> he is offering us five pairs of this high quality beta so that we can also improve our strain. We will see the beta fishes. Asa man imong ihatag okay. dinhi sa kuwabay? Kini ang pamaagi na akong magpasalamat sa iya. Kini ang pari sa Platinum Half Moon Betas. Isa email. Kani ang babae. Hmm. Okay. So, kinala na to ang lalaki. Para kung mapadagan niya, pwede po niya ma-share sa lain. Okay. Guys, oh. Platinum Beta. This is pure white, you know? And, uh, this is really good strain and we will upgrade our breeding. These things are precious to him. This uh, better material for breeding and he's uh, giving to Dexter's World because he's been following us and for the long friendship that we had, he volunteered to give us some good quality of beta for breeding. So, <laughs> Para ma dali siya makapadagan so atong dugangan. Okay. This beta called a platinum half moon plakat beta. So it's a male. Ay uh, decide na uh, gihatan ako siya nga puti kasi ang heart niya as pure as this beta. Okay. Ani ang male. Is the one also a master in the in some mga city on breeding of many fishes. This is what we call a beta coin. Nice color. Try color. Or what we call AOC. You see the color? This is a good strain and this is precious to him. But he gave this for free to Dexter's World. You know that? And I'd like to thank this man for this precious gift that he gave to us. Okay. We oh. call this a Storkish Butterfly Half Moon Double Tail. Hindi yung tanang panihata kay Kini, ako lang material. Ako nang gina-preserve. So, agis sa'yang kaayo. Mahatag na lamang po ko. Karang maayo po. Diba? So, no doubt, 100% heartily given. These are all females and he placed them together because beta female are not that aggressive so they are not fighting. So they can be just placed in one big container. Double tail, half moon. Yes, I'm so happy. This is what they call a good karma. If you're doing good to others, some people in their little way, in their little way, 
they can can also help us like what you have done to our channel some of you have made a donation and that's a good karma for me for spreading the good works spreading the good deeds to other people Ricky is known to our place and he has won many beta competitions and uh, he's been a known breeder of beta fishes and we will have a glance to his trophies to just uh, let you know guys that this man is not an ordinary man in breeding beta fishes. Come on, the, he is going to show to us. Kini siya, mana aku nadakan di sini sa among pointed show sa aba, aba pointed show, which is an international group in beta, a local show, champion also, one of the category of a beta show, also champion, champion in counter category, second runner up in the next competition, next beta show, so selain lain yang beta show nasi, ayun kini. Also sa Gapi. Kapit po ko sa Gapi. Morning Itago Greg. HMPK or Half Moon Plakat Beta. Inani ka pula ang kasing-kasing ni Dexter. Inani siya ka pula. Puri so doon na siya ay kaayo para sa, sa mga tao. Kay Puli Red. Yun ang yung heart. Dili sa katong as in normal as pure as good na tao. So i-share lang po na ko ni para at least mapadaghan niya o may katabang po niya sa mga isip kayo ngunit para na mga bet hobbyist. Guys, these beta fishes are material for breeding. These fishes are so special to him. But he gave this all to us for free. And that's how he empathized with our cause. He wanted to upgrade our breeding so that we will have a good strain. And uh, we can also share this to other people. So that is how privileged I am today. I am sorry. And that's my way of, you know, reciprocating this since uh, these fishes are valuable to him and he gave that, I also would like to share to him things that are valued to me. I am going to give him my watch. Okay. I value this one but I am going to give this to him as way of our friendship. Okay. So this is yours, my friend. Where is the left? Where is the left? Okay. Inang lagi bola. Malu malu naga, malu naga. Yes. And. Selamat kau. This is how I care for my friends. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been undergoing now with some, you know, personal problems. I'm I'm here to just listen and to share something which will uplift his spirit. And aside from that, we have some T-shirts. This is this is also my favorite T-shirt, and uh, Adidas. And I'd like to give this to him and this one. Salamat Adidas pa brand pa na Adidas. Yeah, thank you. So thank you so much, guys. You know, in life, it's not all about what you can get. It's also about what you can give in a little way we can. So Ricky is my good friend, and thank you for. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome. for your support to our channel. Anytime. And uh, I hope guys you will enjoy watching our videos and you will like and share our videos. Today we are going to rescue the fish of Butchoy, my friend, because I received a call from him and he said that he is willing to sell all his fish for an emergency reason. 
That is why without further ado, we will proceed to Bocho's house and we will know if what's the reason that he is going to sell all his fish, including the breeder ones. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is something extraordinary. Well, we have to be careful because I already had scratched many times on this car. Naputol man eh. Ah, wala rin, naputol ba yun? Wala rin. In five minutes, we will reach to our destination and we will know now what's the reason for this. I am shocked with his decision to sell all his fish because I believe that this is his source of income, his daily income. And maybe it has a deeper reason why he decided to sell all of them. So this is the house of Butchoy and I hope Butchoy is there. Well, Butchoy is there. It's him. We'll ask now what's the reason Butchoy why you are going to sell this good fish of yours? Come on. So guys, we're here at the house of Butchoy and he's telling us that he is going to sell all this fish because his father wanted him to go home. And maybe I don't know if this is a good decision but it's his decision to sell all this fish well and uh, we are here to extend some help if we can extend help to Butchoy Asa yung maligya ni Mike? Ganito lang? Asa niyo? Mikin? Asa niyo? Mikin? Kairuin ang mga bibir So you look at this guys These are male betta fish that are already matured and ready for battling actually they're already fighting against its other that's why some of them have damage still and this is for sale everything is for sale so i'm surprised with this decision but well of course we have to respect sometimes things gonna happen like this and this decision is quite sad for me but uh, i will help him you look at this kohako sword tail these are all for sale also you see this one wow this fish is estimated to reach around 1000 and the breeders of this are estimated to reach around more than 1000 fish this is not a joke this are plenty of fish to sell but since we have a pet store maybe we can just take this all and sell this all at the pet store so this is our help to him we will buy all this fish and this box also contains plenty of betta fish oh it's amazing well I'm so sad these are the female ones and they are here and they would like to eat now I think they're hungry maybe they think that they're gonna be fed but this is the thing well what choice is discouraged maybe we can have some interview with him <laughs> I, I said that what about your girlfriends <laughs> you will leave this place without bringing your girlfriends and he said doesn't have a girlfriend. 
So these betta fish are all for sale at a low price, wholesale basis because he is going to go back to his province where he lived. His father really wanted him home because they have the rice field that no one could take care. This betta fish is estimated to reach around 2,000 or more. Oh my goodness! get first this betta fish and we will come back tomorrow because it's not advisable to harvest this fish under the heat of the sun so the temperature is really very warm that it's difficult for us to harvest all this fish so tomorrow morning we will come back here but for the meantime we will buy all this this betta fish and we will bring this at the pet store So this is a mix of breeders and the juvenile size. He estimated this to reach around 700. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. We will agree with this price and we will help Botchoy dispose all this fish. So we have known that the reason why Bochoy is selling all his fish is because he is going back to his province, the province of Sambonga del Norte. And his decision is final now. He really wanted to go back to help his ailing father or ailing parents in their farm. And they have so many large cattle, that's why he has to really go back to his place and we've got some 100 betta fish including these breeders and this will be our display to the pet store for the next couple of days tomorrow morning we will make another video as we get some or if not all of his breeders the goldfish and even this um, ohako surtails and other fish so watch out for our next video tomorrow as we are going to get all of his fish. So that's all that we can share with you today. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And please, if you have time, also search Dexter's World Junior. That's the channel of my son. He really wanted also to follow the footsteps of his father. And uh, I'm recommending also his videos and thank you for watching oh hi guys good day to you once again i hope all is well with you and today we're going to show to you how to breed fighting fish from start to finish many have asked me how to breed betta fish how to maintain how to grow betta fish and it's been consistent that many of those who have viewed our channel really wanted to have a video on beta breeding. Yes, I am going to do that today. But first of all, allow me to thank the following persons. You can read. I 
thank you for your support regular viewers and thank you for your consistent comments and uh, please join with me we're going to a different place it's much more farther than the places where we were in last week's last uh, episodes we will honor this family because this family has been breeding fighting fish for several years now and they said that this uh, uh, beta breeding have somehow helped them send their children to school all school expenses are being shouldered by the income out of breeding this beta fish and one thing more we will honor the family we will give them some groceries i believe that they have a small store and i asked them before what's your request from dexter's world well they said that you're gonna give us something like they can sell a small capital but i opted not to give them money i opted not to give them cash but i'm going to buy some groceries for their small sari sari store this is exciting so come on please watch and i hope you will learn many things out of this video yes we will go there watch out i will open the gate first By. This is your Bengal Star Mall, and we will buy some groceries here. No parking. Hope we can get. Oh, yes, it's here. Come on. Wow. This is prepared for us. This parking is prepared for us. Okay. store so we have groceries at the back and we are now going there maybe 30 minutes from now we're gonna reach our destination and I hope they will appreciate our effort I'm doing this because I know that there are many viewers of us or there are many followers of Dexter's World that really wanted to see the actual breeding of betta fish but I have my own breeding method I have my own breeding scheme but I'd like to show another another method of breeding of these ornamental fishes the cheapest way on how to breed this fish is done by this family. So this is the road that I am referring to. Oh, it's a bumpy rocky road, not cemented, but we will try our best to get there. 
I know that this road is slippery considering that it rained just this morning. Watching out to this community, and you can see the road is as well as new. So we're here at this place. Hi guys, we are here at the house of Richard Arellano, and uh, I am honored this uh, afternoon because they have allowed us to be here in their residence and uh, this is their house and they're breeding really betta fish and I we will show to you now how this betta fish are being bred come on let's go let's come on in So we're gonna show you today the manner of breeding this betta fish and we thank our friend for allowing us this trade secret. Actually this is already a revelation of the, the trade secret. But uh, yes, it begins from the process of courtship. The first thing is you have to be able to distinguish the male from the female and it's very obvious because female have shorter tail compared to the male and the male has brighter colors and the female has pale colors very easy to distinguish but what is difficult is to distinguish whether the male is ready to lay or spawn eggs or not if the female is ready to lay eggs then you can just see or check the bottom of the belly and you will see eggs you will see a small dot like a bubble it's an egg already meaning that female fighting fish is now ready to spawn given that she will be paired to the male who is also ready to build his nest we will handle this very carefully because if the bubbles will burst then the tendency is they will be disturbed so this is now the actual pairing the female is being courted by the male and the male now starts to put bubbles so that it will induce the female to spawn her eggs in the nest and then the male now will fertilize the eggs so you will handle this very carefully because if you will disturb this the tendency is that the male will eat all the eggs because of that disturbance in the I'm so sorry for this disturbance <laughs> When the courtship process is completed, the female has already spawned the eggs, the male has already fertilized the water, the eggs, then you will get immediately the female because the male now is very jealous of the eggs to the extent that he can even kill the female. So we are removing now the female because it has already laid eggs will put that in a separate container so that the the male will not kill this okay so that's the technique this is the most important thing when i first showed my video about <coughs> breeding betta fish many have asked oh the water is very dirty the water is not clear and uh, it will really harm the fish no it it doesn't because the water becomes brown because of this talisai leaves that's in gentry i think and this is very vital if you're gonna breed because this will kill the bacteria and this will help 
the water conditioning of the spawning tank. And if you can see that spawning tank, they are just very tiny. You cannot put this in a bigger container. The reason for this is the moment the eggs are hatched, the male fighting fish will monitor the newly hatched uh, fingerlings. And his way of monitoring is to maintain bubbles so that the newly hatched will be guided and it will not go downward because the moment this uh, fingerlings will depart from the bubbles, it will die. So if you will put that in a very big container, the, the male fighting fish will not be able to monitor the fingerlings. That is why your uh, breeding will not really succeed. It will really fail. The requirement of the water should be at least 2 to 3 inches deep. So once the spawning process is completed, you will put cover because this cover will somehow make privacy so that just the bubbles will not be directly hit by the air and this will not burst. That is why we have to put some cover on top of the spawning tank. So come on, let's go outside and we will look at the grow out, the small fingerlings that has already been put in a bigger pond. is here. Once the fingerlings reach the age of one week, you have to put them in this area, bigger container, so that they will grow fast. And their food is, remember last time, we got this very tiny tube effects worm, and these are their food. That is why I said, that if you're breeding beta fish, you have to give them huge amount of protein. And this is the source of protein. This is to be fix work. And in my next video, I'm going to show to you how to breed and how to propagate this to be fix work. You will no longer go to the river, but you will just pick this up in your breeding tank. business is actually on the male fighting fish because the male fighting fish is very saleable because this will fight and flare and it has variety of colors it has bright colors and this is already two months old the reason why we segregate this to prevent these fishes from killing each other because when they grow all at the age of two months they will start fighting many have asked why not putting this in a 24 gallons for each fighting fish number one is you will need big space for thousands of fighting fish and number two you will have a hard time in cleaning and number three in this very small container they will easily get matured because they will flare and then they're put in individual containers and they will their attention is on their growth they will eat and that's the thing that they would do and no other activity but if you will put this in a big container then the tendency is they will matured within a longer period of time than being put in this small container the reason for this small paper is a barrier we put this as barriers because if you will not put cover in the middle, the tendency is they will always flare and it will make the fishes so stressed. So we're selecting good ones and I will buy this one. I will buy 40 pieces for our pet store. This is nice. Damn. 
<laughs> so we are regularly changing the water because if you will not change it regularly the tendency is the water will become polluted and it will cause disease to our fighting fish We will surprise the family of Panoy with these groceries here and I hope they will be happy with this uh, small presence. This is our little help from Dexter's World to people who can encourage us, to people who has initiative in life so that life will be more happier to live. And they said that it really helped them a lot in their finances. They have four kids and they're sending this to school. and. The income really is being out of breathing this fighting fish. So we will congratulate them for the best effort done and for making inspiration to all of us. And I hope they will be um, happy with this presence. <laughs> so they have a little store at the back and we are giving this uh, presents for their store, grocery store and I thank Panoy for accommodating us here in his house and uh, we are presenting this because these people really have made an inspiration to all of us that life can be easy if you only work hard if you have the initiative and you have the patience so congratulations selamat sa Red Dexter tamang sa semua balik sa mga isda nanay kuwar tanah pengen ko sering kasalamat po kay Dexter nga nasudla na nga kong store Kay wala na iunod, kung nagpalit siya o isda di sa mua. Pati napasalamat ko sa dala niya ng mga grocery diri sa balay. I hope you will watch our videos regularly and we're really thankful for our close to 60,000 subscribers in just a matter of a couple of months. And uh, we are asking you to please subscribe. So that we can reach 100,000 by the end of June or April this 2018. Only here at Next Year's World. Hey guys, today is another day for us to make an update about our beta breeding. But before we gonna examine the individual breeding tanks, we will tell you about our new strain of beta fish. As you can recall yesterday, we claimed our cargo at the airport and we have this new strain of HMPK beta. You look at this. These are my breeders and they already have plenty of babies and you look at their tail they are a descent of a crown tail and of course the HMPK breed but I have another strain of beta that came from Malaysia and this is the HMPK breed but they have different color combination you look at this one you look at the pectoral fins their pectoral fins are really wide and bright what about this one of course you will see that they have good color combination also and you will decide now which among this beta fish are good breed 
This one has orange color and it has a thin body and the color combination is really perfect and this one has a dominant color of pink and of course the others are violet and blue combination these are my old breeders and they already have plenty of babies and also I have here the beta koi these are the male beta koi and I am going to breed them because I have some female also of this beta koi and in the couple of weeks from now we are gonna also breed the candy koi so these beta koi are here they have long pins but they are so stressed because of the long trip okay that's it by the way maybe you will ask how to cut this blast bottles of course i have a video on this so you can also browse this video <laughs> By the way, I also have a double crown tail female beta and this is not yet due for breeding and we are going to breed this one next week or maybe two weeks from now. They are all double tailed female beta and we're gonna breed them with also the double tailed male beta. So these are the update of our breeders and we are looking forward to have a new breeding with this new strain of breeders. Well, I am so happy with this. Two weeks from now, I hope we are going to be able to breed them all. Very carefully, of course, it's here. So they are still very stressed. They are not flaring yet, but the old stock, the old breeders are really having A1 conditions. So these are the old breeders. So we made a series of video about our breeding of better fish. And uh, I'd like to make an update. And this is the series number seven. We will see if our fry of betas have grown so fast so we will check this out in the sixth video or in the last update of this beta series we made mention that we got all the male beta from their individual breeding containers and they are living now independently and you will see that they are already very visible to the camera. You look at this beta, they are already big and they are so plenty. So I decided not to transfer them yet to a bigger tank, but I am regularly adding water to just have an A1 condition of this water that normally becomes stressful to the fish if we don't add new water because of ammonia so we are adding water and of course some are still here this is another breed another pair but they are you look at this one they have so plenty of babies and we can mix them together all together in a bigger tank so we will have an update also about our technique on how to put this into a bigger container because the moment we commit mistake as what I have mentioned in my earlier video 
that if we gonna put this in a container which has different water temperature this will immediately disappear they will die so we have to acclimatize for a couple of hours just to ensure that the temperature of the water of the bigger tank and this container are the same so this is it we also have here plenty of babies and here there are plenty so you will note that I have added plants and I'd like to mention that plants really are very important if you have baby betas because these plants will absorb all the toxic elements that can be found in the breeding tanks. So plants really are very, very important. So I prepared this tank for our baby beta. Two days from now, this water is going to be five days old. This will be conditioned with Indian almond leaves and other leaves. So this is exposed to sunlight, but we are going to put cover just to prevent a warm temperature because in our place it's very warm. So that's the update that we can share with you today and in the next couple of videos that we will make we will see the actual breeding of the new stacks that we have and we will also give you an update on how to massively produce this new kind of beta the beta koi and the XMPK breed that's all that we can expect from this channel to those of you who are beta lovers you can follow us and you can also share your experiences for the benefit of our viewers, the new beginners. If you're expert on beta breeding, you can make a comment and you can also share your own method or your own techniques on how to massively produce this beta fish. Hi guys! It's another beautiful day once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. Baby, I can be a lover. Today I'm going to tour you to the house of my friend Panoy. This friend of mine has been featured already many times in our videos and we are actually in partnership of breeding this ornamental fish, specifically the beta fish. Well, we've been sharing our knowledge and information, techniques, experiences on how to really massively grow this beta, how to massively breed this beta. And our exchange of ideas have proved to us to be very fruitful. And today we will go there and please be with me as I am going to tour you to his house. So guys, we are going to traverse this muddy road. I hope I can traverse this one. You look at these motorcycles over here. They are stuck here. They don't like to, to pass this road. And they are going there by means of uh, barefoot. So we will cross this road now. So finally, we are here at the house of my friend Panoy and many videos in the past, we already have featured him about his expertise in breeding this beta fish. How many years have you been breeding? About 17 years. So 17 years, you imagine for the, for the last 17 years, 
he has honed his skills in breeding this ornamental fish and uh, we will go inside right now and we will look at the way or the methods how he breed we've been friends and we support each other we are sharing our ideas and we are also sharing our knowledge and experiences yes so this is the crown the crown tail and the half moon. half moon how many months are this fish two months two months old imagine these are just two months old fish but uh, guys this is not their habitat they were grown out not inside in these bottles but he has a big time for the fry and then after reaching the age of two months to get the size like this, this is gonna be placed in the individual bottles and they will not stay long here because this is gonna be bought also by many people. Many people are coming here and many children are passing by just to get one, two or three and even wholesalers. You have wholesalers also? Yes. Uh, wholesalers from, from, uh, Holo. from Holo, from Basilan, from Tawi-Tawi. These are the provinces, the neighboring provinces of Sambuanga City, the place that we are in. So you will see this beautiful, very beautiful uh, betta fish. So we will now ask him his experience about breeding. The common problem of betta breeders are this one. After five days, the eggs will hatch. There's no problem about how to hatch. No problem about it anybody can just hatch the eggs but after the eggs will become very tiny fry that's the problem how to make this very tiny fry survive unsa on man nga dili mamatay ang mga gamay kay nga fry starting an eh mag breed ka pag human ang pairing sa sudlanan start na ka og limpyo sa box then stack na ka tubig tanga ni mog dahon sa talisay para pagpusa sa similya transfer ni sa box condition ang tubig. That's why I always said in my previous videos that water conditioning is really very important. So he's telling us that after you paired your beta and they gonna they gonna lay eggs already. So he's giving us the tip that we have to use the conditioned water or aged water. So no problem about pairing, no problem about how to, you know, uh, breed the beta how to let them lay their eggs uh, the incubation period it's the father who will really take care of the eggs ang problema karon in a kapiso nila gagmay mga wala la sila tanan pag time na mag transfer sa similya ayaw sa diretso giyabu ang similya sa box pag humana niyo mo sa papa hindi mo na to siya sihurong ang box Kaya na ito yung mga predator pa dito na tubo itong mga kiti-kiti Hindi -kiti. uh -huh. mo itong para malimpyo mm -hmm. Ngayon, pag limpyo na Ibutang na mo ang sudlanan dito na isimilya Ibutang na yung tubig Isagol na yung mga hinahinay The process of transferring this very tiny fry to the grow-out tank is very delicate That's why he's telling us that we have to acclimatize We have to get the same temperature of the water from your spawning tank to your grow out tank what about the food the first food of this fry that's very important Dapia. yes and bbs mm, yes. because in other countries like africa like america like you know germany we have here we have followers from poland they don't have a place like ours where we can find easily so easily this dapnya these crustaceans that can just be readily gathered and available at the swampy area but in other places like rich countries like in United States they don't have this swampy area so we are telling you that we can use the BBS or the baby brine shrimps as our alternative food the first food for the better fry so these were hatched on all those six 2019 just this year they're already big and this is amazing wow you see that and one month more they gonna be transferred in the bottles wow you see that and you will note that this environment 
is covered meaning they are not directly exposed to the sun and that's one of the tips if you are breeding beta you will use the old water you will use the tiniest food and of course you have to put all the fish under the cover or under the roof you see this one you see this one these are the food and these are the larvae of the mosquito every morning i used to visit this place just to get the food and if you are into breeding beta this food is really very essential because if you will just use the commercial food then chances are you will have the difficulty growing your beta because commercial food will certainly delay the growth of the fish so Panoy is now showing to us how many betas does he have well if you will say 2,000 3,000 4,000 it is more than 4,000 beta and it's a lot of money if you're you know breathing this one this is a lot of money you will imagine selling this at one dollar only and you have ten thousand of this that's ten thousand dollars and that's a lot of money you know <laughs> you see that breeding better requires your passion requires your effort requires your patience so give us some money he's working as security guard he managed to maximize his time and breed this very beautiful ornamental fish so how did you manage your time? Uh, I schedule mo na ako panggabi ilang, mm. na ako panggabi, pero sa makapokus ko sa ako ang breeding sa pangadlaw. Kay usahay lang ako pangadlaw po. How old are these beta? Two months na two months. Uh, so these are two months old and these are ready for jarring already. In our previous videos, we are also featuring about putting the beta, thousands of them, in a single container. And one of the viewers, or the common questions that were raised was, uh, aren't they fighting? Well, the answer is they are not fighting because they are growing together since birth. Since the time that they were hatched, they grow together, that they are not thinking anymore of fighting. The moment that we will segregate them, in their individual containers we we cannot anymore put them back together in a single container or a single pan even one day or how many hours they will fight and kill each other because they will forget that they are siblings they will forget that they have common parents and they will forget each other so they will start fighting so these are the the leaves of the nipa over there you will see that's the nipa they're getting yeah. cover right from there you will see that there are very plenty of this tiny beta there are also thousands of them wow that's a nice thing to see this very beautiful beta and this is estimated to reach around how many so there are thousands thousands of them and that's amazing and you can gather around 1000 male out of this out of this hatch then selling all the males at two dollars so that's a lot of money wow <laughs> and i understand that in other country they're selling the adult male beta to forty dollars each imagine if you're in the u.s you will become millionaire <laughs> so we are here in another box of this finger links he is showing to us now how to take care of this one of course we have to remove the dirt every now and then and I can see here some of this fry and this fry have no uniform sizes because some are already very big some are still very small and this is the fact that we have to admit when we are raising whatever kind of fish they will not really grow with the same size all of these two boxes are a product of nine pairs and they are now very plenty over here you will see that there are more males than females so we will wait for another 30 days before we gonna be able to put this inside the jar okay 
and they also have Dumbo mosaic guppies over there being raised in this recyclable material. This is a refrigerator, I think. This is a refrigerator making use of them. But the food is really available. Mikey, will I then get it? But uh, he has to make an estimate. You will not overfeed your fish with this larva of the mosquitoes because if you will put to plenty then chances are they will fly and they will become dengue carrier so this is not advisable to over feed your your fish with this mosquitoes because they will also become harmful to our health the next question that maybe you will ask is how often do we change the water if the water will become too low, he will add the water. He will not attempt to clean this one and or remove the fish and put in a clean water that's very dangerous because the fish will certainly get sick and eventually it will die. So you leave the water the water as it is. You can add water, but it's really a taboo to change the water that often so now we will go to the place where we gonna get this mosquito larva we're passing by to buy this ice <laughs> and this is very important because we are at around 10 o'clock the temperature is really warm so we need to put some this ice to preserve the life of this this uh, mosquito larva so guys we are showing you how we're gonna get this larva of these mosquitoes mosquitoes will become larva for just a matter of 14 days and after that they will fly so as much as possible we cannot also get more than what is enough for our betas I'm honoring this man for allowing us to get some tips, techniques, procedure, experiences on how to grow this beta and we actually are gathering this larva of the mosquitoes and uh, of course we are so thankful for you also for your support thank you for always watching our channel our videos hi guys good day to us once again i just received a call from my friend uh, jan jan and he said that his electromagnetic pump malfunction if we will not rescue his breeder fish it will surely die so we will rescue this fish i am bringing with me this electromagnetic pump to replace the one that has malfunctioned janjan is really asking for our help because he cannot just buy this one from the pet store because this is costly and so since we have an extra we will also lend him or maybe we can just arrange it can just uh, exchange this with fish but uh, what is important is we can go there immediately so that we can rescue his fish that is gasping for breath now because of lack of oxygen so we're going there and come on please be with us So we are here at his place now. Come on, we will alight from this vehicle and we will witness how we're gonna rescue this fish. Okay, so we'll off this air condition and we will turn this off engine. Okay, come on. Connecting now. Oh. 
So the koi's are having oxygen. So guys, we have given out the electromagnetic pump for the fish of Janjan and they are giving us back this uh, fry of their koi. They are actually thankful for our help because they really needed that and they cannot just buy that from the pet store. They have no budget for it. So we will proceed to another breeder the house of Erwin. Well, this road is so muddy and we cannot proceed. So we will just park our vehicle here. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, wait. What's this? Can I Naputol man eh. Ah, wala ba naputol ba no? Wala eh man. Ha? My friend Erwin has been featured in my previous videos and you look at this tube flex worm. This tube flex is the food for this fighting fish very tiny and then we'll just come and eat he is expecting to harvest 2,000 male fighting fish these are selected already and look at this these are koi so it's so natural you look at the plants the water is green but very clear many have asked how do we care for this beta carrying this as simple as this what you can see is what you get they are not putting that in in a highly delicate place You're just putting this cover and then you look at this you have the plants crawling inside this Kong Kong crawling inside very simple technique but very effective so for those of you who really like to take good care of your fighting fish the principle is the more you change water, the more your fish will be endangered. And the more you care for them intensively, the more you will lose them. <laughs> and uh, this is it. You look at this. So these 24K are all breeders. You look at the goldfish. Goldfish can survive with the mollies. And this is good for our koi. <laughs> Remember this one? These plants will rapidly multiply and you look at this water lily it's raised naturally so naturally look at this one wow this water lily is precious you have direct sunlight and with this water lily the fish are on the natural habitat These fish are due for battling. This is beta koi and goldfish is also here, the breeder goldfish. Oh. You look at this goldfish. Wow. This is how life is going on here. I've we've been partners in this business for how many years and we'll just exchange our ideas about you know carrying this fish. I will buy their produce. So thanks. <laughs> Thank you Erwin for allowing us to have a video on your farm and for those of you who are really enthusiastic about carrying fighting fish, this method is exceptional. <laughs> Thank you kay si Tan Puntinho, siyempre si Dexter Tan, visit na yung small farm del ar mga beta, mollies, kinitaro na yung bogo goldfish na yung breeding, o hala man visit le Pirmiaki. Thank you na Dexter World. Give us this Asula plant for our fish. This is good for our koi. 
this is a far place, far from my place and you look at the damage of our SUV but then of course we will continue on doing this in spite of the obstacles we will do this for you guys Today we will go to the major streets where we can see some of our friends selling mollies, they're selling betta fish, guppies. My purpose of going there is for us to have another strain of breeders. I am planning to buy yellow mollies. I don't have gold dust and some other people call that yellow mollies. And my plan is to buy some for us to be able to have new strain of fish and that gold dust is really very beautiful that's why i've decided to take some of the breeders and i'm going to breed them in the house so come on let's proceed and please be with me as we will go there to the place that i have mentioned it's just a 15 minutes ride from here at the side of this road you will see that there are many fish that have been hung on this plate they are selling this because this is their means of livelihood this couple had been in this business for how many years now they're known to me they're also my customers sometimes they will go to our house and buy some of our mollies and even our betta fish you will see that the upper layer of this stand contains guppies and the lower of it has betta fish i think they are selling this for 50 pesos per plastic lily and toto is my good friend and they are selling now to us some of this gold dust you know this gold dust the yellow molly is very saleable also in the market that's why i decided to have a breeder out of their stack i wish that i can also be able to propagate this kind of fish this yellow gold dust you look at this tail the liar tail this yellow molly is also very good to see in the aquarium so i will buy this one guys we already bought some breeders of gold dust and uh, some other people call this the yellow mollies and you will see that they have a very beautiful colors well these are not breeders yet but I am hoping to breed them the soon as possible time I bought some 20 breeders and most of them are female Wow, this beautiful gold dust. I'm so excited to breed them. And this will be added in our breeders. By the way, our Japanese koi have developed eggs already and we will breed them once more. And they are here, the water is very clear. It all tells us that the filter bucket and the filtration system that we've used is really very effective. You look at them. Before I made a mistake, I used only a small bucket of filter, but I've changed a bigger bucket now. It's a drum I, that I used, and they are there very clear, crystal clear. So come on, we will place this one over there. So guys, you will see this net 
I am going to condition them here. We are going to put them inside in this trap so that they cannot harm the goldfish or arandas. So we will acclimatize them and later we will release this beautiful fish. I am sure that they are not going to give birth because they are still very young and one month from now I'm sure that we're gonna produce a lot of babies of this gold dust and we will also sell this one at the pet store the babies of this a few minutes later it's been 10 minutes so I think we can now release this goldfish I know this is not the goldfish this gold dust right here come on That's burst. Wow, wow. That gold dust will stay here for a moment. And uh, I am going to monitor them, give them live food so that they will become big and they will become our breeders. Of course, this place is for them. look at them and I will place plants so that they will not become stressed well this plants will do this cabbage plant will stay there very pregnant now this pregnant Randa will surely spawn if they will be placed in a clean water you see that one you will know that your fish is ready to lay eggs because if you will touch the belly it's very soft now and there is a protruding line on the anus you know that that's it so that's an indication that they are really having good condition and they are almost to lay eggs if you will place them in new water with plants i'm sure they will really lay eggs so we see our plants it's there working our filtration system and I'm really very happy of this update you know in our place many people are entertained by you know just uh, a breeding tropical fish and out of breeding many people also have earned an income out of breeding this ornamental fish and I have also several friends that are getting stocks from us that's why I'm also encouraged to breed more and more in this place. I can see in the future that this place will be filled with fish tanks and we will have a massive production of 24 k mollies and all other fish like the, the carps, the, the koi, the shubunkin, goldfish and also on the top of it we will have an aquaponics different kinds of vegetables so stay tuned in this channel and if you haven't yet subscribed i humbly ask you to please do subscribe now and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos Hi guys, good day to you once again and we are here at Dexter's World Channel 
and today I'm going to share to you my experience because my my helper in all these pets my fishes went home for a very important uh, family affairs and uh, I'm all alone and with my cameraman today so I just uh, took a bath early in the morning as early as 4 o'clock in the morning and I have to do all these things by myself because my employee went home so today I am very busy because I am also scheduled to bring my kids to school today that is why I am doubling my time and I have just fed my guinea pig I went out to gather some grasses and also I I just fed my chicken and I have so many pets to feed and that is why I am doubling my time okay today you can see that we already have these uh, bottles filled with fighting fish and they are here you can see and they are individually placed in a container but my problem today is how I gonna feed this small baby beta koi here I will be forced to go to the rice field today and please come with me as we are going to catch or gather dapnya for our baby beta koi fry so come on let's proceed to the area come on guys let's proceed to the rice field we will gather dapnya i am in a hurry really in a hurry go i had to cut this because my helper brought with him the key so i have to destroy this one so that we can go out but I cannot also afford to just starve my baby with the koi fish so we can see the rice field come on So this is the place where we gather or collect dapnyas. Look at the rice field. They are preparing this for another batch of rice plantation. This rice field is in, in this stage. Dapnyas are really here. They are seen in this uh, very wide uh, rice field. So, but I am really out of my mind guys. You look at my net. How can I catch dapnya? <laughs> I am really in a hurry. And, uh, of course, we only need a small amount of dapnyas, but I did not realize that my net is not fine net, so dapnyas cannot be collected out of this net. You see that man there, over there? He's my friend, and maybe we can just ask a little amount of dapnya because I cannot anymore waste my time. I have to bring my kids to school. It's already good for our fish. My friend is too far. I think he will just come back here because the sleepers are just here. But I cannot wait for him because my time really is very essential, important today. As you can see, I have here a small amount of this dapnya here. And maybe this is enough for our baby beta fish. Or we will just... Okay. Look at this. This tiny dapia will already feed thousands of uh, our beta koi fry. And maybe we can already go home. I cannot anymore waste my time going back home and just get the fine nets. How can this catch dapnya? I'm out of my mind really. But we can have this for our beta koi. Come on. I cannot afford to starve my beta koi because this is very crucial if we gonna starve them they will just die immediately so I am saving them but this not nice already enough for them okay come on let's proceed come on
So guys, we are here. We are going home. We are hurrying up. Okay. So this small amount of duck nya can already feed for the breakfast. I think it's good for the day. So we can feed this tiny duck nyas to our Look at this, we'll start from here. Look at this baby. Beta koi. There, right there. You feed them with small amount of live food so that they will not die. Many have asked what's your feeding, the first feeding of this. Oh is Dapnya and we are here in our place we are blessed because we can just get Dapnya everywhere rice field and swampy areas can just get them that is why breeders are successful in their in this field okay you can see that the neck of this bottle have been cut already so I am putting individually and individual container has this water lettuce to help purify the water and I am also putting Indian almond leaves many have asked why is the water cloudy because of these leaves because this leaf has a antibacterial effect and someone have asked where is your snake the sura my snake is located in the pet store and I will update you about that the the snake now is already 16 feet. so guys I am going to feed now this calico goldfish I got this mosquito larva early in the morning but they're here and I woke up early in the morning just to get this guys and we will feed them these are hungry very very hungry oh. allow me guys to just check the rock So they are getting bigger really because of this larva. Okay, you eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. We don't overfeed them because you just put a little amount of this food. Like food because it will also contaminate the water guys okay, so i am done and we will proceed there we will feed the hungry tail calico okay we will wash this Okay, like that. Come on. Come on, you eat. You eat. I prefer to give this mosquito larva to goldfish than a tube effects worm because tube effects worm as I believe uh, per experience is best for the Japanese koi fry and the uh, mosquito larva are good for the goldfish and even the beta fish you can just observe that I have no air pump no submersible pump no filtration system I am feeding live food but the secret is every other day I am draining half of this water as you can see that submersible pump with net I will siphon the water half of it every other day on Monday, on Wednesday, on Friday and on Sundays the reason for that net is to prevent 
the fry from going inside and being siphoned outside. So look at this one. It's going there. Half of this will be siphoned outside and then we will put new water for the water to become fresh again. Let's be updated that we can give it tomorrow. We will have another vlog for our Japanese koi. It's 7 o'clock. I have to bring my kids to, to the school. I am hurrying up. I have to double time. And this is life actually. But I enjoy doing this. So this is my passion. This is not burdensome on my part though. It needs a lot of time and not a lot of patience and effort. And uh, yes, I'm sharing this to you. I hope you will like and share our videos. And if you haven't yet subscribed, if you are new to our channel, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button for you to be notified of the upcoming videos. Hi guys, uh, good day once again and allow me to give you an update about our Calico Fry which was loaded here a couple of days ago, nearly two weeks ago and you can see their growth is really very fast and my system is just uh, to put them in a shallow water because the temperature will not become very cold and you know guys this tropical fishes will grow so fast if the average temperature will not go below 30 degrees centigrade they are exposed to the sun and always eating this uh, flakes and live food but uh, allow me to give you an update today about our betta fish you know guys I've been breeding before HMPK and this Siamese betta fish but there are new strains now that I am going to show to you and uh, recently I just bought this betta fish and please watch our video while we were in that farm buying betta fish No guys, this is monster face bet. Hey, look at this. So we're gonna breed this one. This is AOC red base bet. Okay. 
Hello. <laughs> These are all female. It's nice, better. Tell us, you have. Oh, tell me, you have. Mm. You look at this, they have babies. Plenty of babies. Oh, this is amazing. This is new strain of fighting fish, betta fish. And you can see the babies are just swimming freely. So, guys, I bought five pairs of new strain of beta and I'm going to place them here this empty bottle I'm going to cut this and temporarily we're gonna put this new grid of beta fish here inside the bottle So guys, this is what we got. Okay, this is the male and this one is the female, the smaller one. And since the female will not fight each other, so we will put all together the female here. Nice breed. Okay. Okay. We will stay here. We look at this. Wow. These are five beers and last beer is this. Okay. Wow, this is nice. Look at this. Wow. Nice color. So these are five pairs and we're gonna breed this guys two weeks from now. I think two weeks from now we're gonna show you how we are going to breed this fighting fish from start up to hatching the eggs from the courtship stage from the acquaintance stage up to the, the time that they gonna produce babies so the principle is we are going to feed them with live worm and this female fighting fish will also eat mosquito larva and as soon as they're ready 
the female will be placed here and if the female is already accepting the courtship of the the male then that's the time that she will put some flowers like this and they will start laying eggs so you will see the details of it next week but for the meantime just uh, giving us some sort of uh, advance information what we gonna do next week so we will show to you the techniques on how to breed this new strain of fighting fish hi guys it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel today's video we're gonna go back to the house of Berto you know this man has been featured already many times in my videos because he is really very expert in breeding also this betta fish and for quite some time he was discouraged to breed this ornamental fish like betta and goldfish because of some personal problems he engaged into tricycle driving and even this habal habal driving this is the single motorcycle that will ferry passenger but since he has no franchise then this is considered illegal that's why i said to him that you should go back to breeding this betta fish because there is money in breeding this ornamental fish and i had hard times of really convincing this man to go back into breeding and i assured him that if he can produce betta then i am willing to buy all his produce and today we are informed that he has already hundreds of betta fish that are already adult and for sale and i am so happy with this uh, development because i was really able to convince him to go back into this fish hobby now we will go there and we will buy his fish It's a brave dog. So guys, this is Berto that I'm referring to. Hello. Uh, hello. It's my close friend and this friend of mine has been a good friend of me since 10 or 20 years. Yes. He's been now he's other because of our passion and breeding this uh, ornamental fish it's been a long time that i have not seen him because he engaged in another livelihood uh, I encourage him that instead of driving this uh, single motorcycle and ferry passengers which are illegal here in our place, I advise him to just uh, focus on breeding this betta and other fish and he will earn a lot of money. So now, you will earn a lot of money because I am going to buy all of your fish. What's a bridge? So this is his first harvest and he said that he did not offer the fish to other buyers because he wanted me to buy all this fish. Well, that's our agreement and that's why I encourage him because he's an expert also in, you know, breeding this kind of fish, this betta fish. And if you can see, all the tanks that are here are filled with fry of this betta fish and he is uh, breeding the copper and even the double beta, tail double tail and uh, the oh, beta. beta so you look good huh? <laughs> so we will place this one inside the plastic and of course we will sell this 
to the pet store. This is an amazing technology for him because of all the breeders that I have met, he is the only one that can breed the betta fish in this manner. You see that? This is the breeding tank and other people really are having hard time how to breed the betta but this man breeds betta in just a very small container. It's really in the hands of the breeder. Some people really are gifted and I salute this man for <laughs> this gift of breeding this beta. So can you show us your collection of beta also? You see this breeder guys. This is a double crown tail copper and uh, it's it has really nice color. And the produce out of this breeder will be sold at just a cheap price for will not say the price here because he don't want to say the price. <laughs> This is a beta koi. Beta koi normally has short tail, but this beta has long fins and long tails. This is amazing. Maybe they will not flare because the water is new. They were shocked to the new environment. But anyway, this is this is a good fish. And yeah. So if you will climb upstairs. You will see. Where the musaka? Oh, na dia. Na dia dek kelas. Dua pukang pun. This beta are one also good. Wow, this is nice. Another strain. Oh, all the colors are blue, and he's looking forward also to. Breed some variety of colors. A few months from now, I believe that he can really produce this uh, variety of colors. And also, aside from the beta, is also having a swine here. And this is his business. And this man really is very industrious. He worked hard to earn an income for his family and I admire this man because you know poverty in life could not really hinder us from pursuing our goals and becoming very successful in life these are the juvenile size of the beta these are all male these are already selected and this tank also is filled with beta oh amazing and this also is filled with beta I could not believe that this system will work very small place, very shallow water, and the betas are just reared in this small container, but they are so healthy. Other people really have hard time growing this fry of beta. This wooden tank that is just covered with the star is filled with beta fry, very shallow. The water looks so dirty. The fish are still alive and they are raising this very healthy fish. I don't know, but uh, you will see that the fry are here. You see that? These are the fry of the beta. And maybe you will say, no, that's not good. That will not work or even this is detrimental kind of breeding process. But it works and the, the evidence is here. Uh, See that. Video oleh menteri ukuran sekali pun kata ini pes kawal dia bira oleh menteri der kat puras tak pun tigo. Kali tu oleh oleh pernah menteri tiga. This is one of my passion in life also to see others succeed in their passion, and that is why I really encourage him to breed back. And you know there is money in breeding, and not only the not only for the sake of having money but the the pleasure and the joy and the happiness that you will be able to produce your own fish and he is producing his own kind of fish he has the strain now of the beta koi which has long fins so we will buy now his fish and then we will display that at the pet store so come on let's pack this one and then we'll bring that to the pet store
So this is the way how we pack and transport this fish. And we will serve this at the pet store. Those of you who are just here, you can go to a pet store. Or can, you can come here. Uh, Beto will entertain. But you will no longer have the fish because I will buy this all. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And this is my answer to those who were asking for another video on fish, especially the beta fish. This is for you guys. So thanks for watching. Only here at Dexter's World. <laughs>